In this episode, we will talk about how people make money through real estate. So today we will explain about uh, going back to basics, what is asset and what is liability. In accounting terms, it means entirely a different thing. But in the Robert Kiyosaki theory in his book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, he mentioned that assets are things that will bring money into your account every month. And liability is the reverse where it takes money out of your account every month. So, uh, is a property necessarily an asset? In accounting terms, yes, again, but in our terms as investors, is uh, if the property is every month taking money out of your bank account, it's still a liability. Therefore, the theory of the mistake of buying a dream house as your first property is very wrong, in my opinion, because it takes a lot, it takes out a lot of money from your bank account every month. Okay, so his theory uh, mentioned that he rents out properties. So how is how the theory works is like this: he gets a property, let's say in our context, a uh, 500,000 apartment, let's say in Pujong, okay? A 500,000 loan for 30 years will take out around 1,500 ringgit from your bank account every month for the bank, okay? So, but a 500,000 property usually will fetch around, let's say 1,800 a month for rental, okay? So this means, 1008 per month rental minus 1500 for your bank installment and maintenance as well results in 300 ringgit extra in your bank account okay so that's for one property so let the so the theory works as if i have one property today that gives me 300 and i have a second property which gives me another 300 and a third property which gives me another 300 and many may think that oh bank won't loan you so much money right but if you can prove to the bank that the house is actually rented out and it's generating income and you declare this income to the tax department it's actually your annual income so you can actually get more and more loan that way okay so in robert kiyosaki terms he never sells asset therefore he buy and keep so this property have rental, this property have rental, this property have rental. Okay, so with that, uh, every month without working a lot, you get three different uh, income of rental. Okay, so that's for rental point of view. The other point of view is uh, capital appreciation where you buy and sell. Okay, the problem of uh, the real estate industry that I face when I was uh, in the developer line is that every buyer thinks that they are a property guru ever since 2008. <clears throat> if you are in the real estate world, there's this thing you need to know is RBGT. RBGT is real property gain tax where the government actually tax you when you make money from selling your property. Of course, on the difference, for example, if I'm buying half a million, 500,000, and I sell at 1 million, three years down the road, the earnings of 500,000, I can actually get tax from the government. Uh, so it depends. So why I say 2008 and above? Because during 2008, the Asian financial crisis, government introduced zero RBGT tax to stimulate the entire property. So traders and uh, investors all start going crazy and berserk in the market where they just buy and trade, buy and trade, buy and trade, buy and trade without getting tax. So how rich people actually make a lot of money is via knowing the game rules, which is the tax, okay? So if you see now the property prices are not as crazy as three to five years ago, it's because <clears throat> the government revised the 
budget every finance every year and the most important thing that we players in <clears throat> always emphasize is the RBGT rates and now if you buy one property and you sell the next year you are taxed 30 percent of your int of your gains which is a lot <clears throat> therefore when the transaction of properties are not as frequent the prices are not as crazy capital appreciation also works when you buy 500,000 five years down the road you sell you won't get tax if it's a residential property if it's a commercial property for example office or uh, factories or warehouses you will get tax 5% on the gain forever and ever but one tip if you are a residential player right <clears throat> Many not knowing that uh, when, uh, let's say I have a house that I sold to a buyer, then that buyer wants to renovate, okay, I can actually do the renovation on behalf because this renovation cost can be eliminated and taken out of the gains. So, I again, let's roll back. The definition between asset and liability Asset gives you money every month, liability don't. And uh, in property world, there's investors and there's traders, and it depends whether which one you want. If you are a cash flow where you buy rental and you keep, and if you are a property that goes, a property buyer that goes after capital appreciation, you are a trader. I won't say you are an investor. Okay, so. That's my take on how people actually make money via the real estate world. And of course, of course, uh, <clears throat> in the market now, there are a lot of people giving property talks and property talks and property talks. Um, but with the end of the session, meaning at the end of the session, there will be recruitment where they are actually hiring agents and negotiators to join their firms to sell and rent properties for homeowners like us right so that's another way where your commission you get based on rental is one month usually and for selling and buying houses you get around three percent is the market rate standard but it's usually two to one percent and in dependence on the value of the property okay so with that i'll see you next time